Hello and welcome to SAS Guru. In this video, we will review the unique profile created for customer and understand how the unique profile is linked to data originated from various sources. Let us check if the job for identity resolution has completed. Looks like it has succeeded. Let's get into the details. We will notice that out of 52 source profiles, it has consolidated them into 38 unique profiles or unified profiles. The consolidation rate is 27%. Now, let us dig deeper into this via Profile Explorer and Query Insights. Let's start with the Profile Explorer. The Profile Explorer is specific for querying the unified profile whereas Data Explorer is general for querying the data lake objects or data model objects, select the data space as default. Unified individual, that's the object which will have all the unified individual records. You can query. Let's say we query Andy as a first name. We see that there is a single record of a unified individual whose first name is Andy. Let's try Bob. There are two boxes, Bob Brown and Bob Marley so two unified individual records are created. Let's try Adam. There are three, two with the name Adam Smith and a third with the name Adam Amith. So, this is about profile, but if you want to dig deeper, then the best tool to use will be the query editor. So let's go to the query editor. We'll use the same data exploration query editor. And now you will see an additional object unified individual. But let us first understand how the individual records were created and unified. We will use Bob as an example. Go to Individual Create Query. We are going to order this by first name and run a query. Scroll to the right and to the bottom. You will see there are three individual records whose name starts with Bob. Let's make a note of these IDs. So these are individuals. Starting with the ID and the first name is Bob, last name is Brown. This is the second record's ID. Both the records are coming from an AWS S3 file. But first name is Bob, last name is Marley. The third record of Bob comes from Salesforce CRM and its last name is also Marley. Now let's understand how these three Bobs are unified into two Bob Unified Individual Records. Let's go to a Unified Individual. Select Query. Let's order by first name. So there are two Bob records. First, Bob has this ID. Let's copy that, and his last name is Marley. So this is a Unified Individual. This is the second record's unified individual ID, with a name as Bob Brown. Now there is a third object which is called Unified Individual Link Object, which will link these two objects. That is very important to understand the structure of this object. So back to the Query Editor. In the Related tab, you will see this object Unified Link Individual. It has these important fields. It has a source record ID, which is the ID of the source object, in this case individual object. And it has a unified record ID, which has the ID of the unified individual object. Let us query this and see the linkage. We're going to add a WHERE clause, where source record ID is in, followed by the three source record IDs, copy, paste them individually, and let's run a query. We'll see three records, and all of them have a unified individual ID, so this is the unified individual ID ending with 450, which is pointing to this individual ID record. The second one ends with A8 and points to this individual record. And a third was again ending with 450, which is just pointing to this individual record. So while using this verified profile in calculated insights, or even in segments, we have to understand how we can traverse from unified individual to individual to, for example, if I have to traverse from Bob Marley, which is the unified individual record is this. We can see it is linked to two individual records, the first one and the last one, and these are their individual IDs, one coming from Salesforce and the other from AWS S3. Using this, we can go to the individual object and get more details. So, 
you traverse from unified individual to unified individual link to individual, such individual unified objects and unified link objects are created for other profile objects also. Let us understand this further with an example of an email. Let us start with a contact point email with a field party ID pointing to the individual object. So let's run a query where party ID is in, followed by the three individual records. Let's see how their email addresses are stored in the contact point email object. Here we can notice that of these three individuals, there are four email addresses, and we'll also see their contact point email ID. So this is the contact point email ID of the first contact point email record. The email address is bob.brown at email.com and it is of individual with this individual ID. Second record is this, that's the record ID. This is the email address and this is the party ID or individual ID. This is the third one, with this email address, this is the individual ID. And this is the fourth one, this is the email address. So as we can see, there are two individual records who have the same email address. Now let's learn how these contact point email addresses are converted into unified contact point email addresses. So next we are going to query unified contact on email. Here is the email address and there is a party ID. Let's query these three email addresses, the first email address and the second email address and this is going to be the third address. So these are the three records. The unified individual contact email. The unified contact point mail ID is. The first record is this. Its email address is this, and it points to party, which is nothing but a unified individual whose ID is this. Likewise, this is the second contact point email address ID. This is the email address and it points to this contact point or this unified individual record. Finally, the last one. Now let's query and understand how contact point email and unified contact point email objects are linked to each other. They are linked via a unified contact point link object unified link contact point email. Now similar to the unified link individual, there is a source ID and there is a unified record. Let us query this too. This time, we're going to go via a source ID. Let's put in where condition on the source in. They've got four contact point email records, so these will be the source record IDs. These are the four contact point email address records. Their IDs and let's see how they are linked. So, their unified contact point email addresses are these four. You will notice that for an email address, bob at lego.com.test, this is the ID of that record, and it is linked to this source ID, which in this case is contact point email. Or if you have to traverse from contact point email, we can check these two records, which are for the email address bob at lego.com.test. They are linked to these two unified link contact point email. And if you notice, their unified contact point email IDs are pointing to the same, which is ending with 450, so that we know these two contact points are unified into this single contact point. The other two which are bobmarley at email.com and bobbrown at email.com remain independent. 
So this is how you can traverse from unified contact point email to unified link contact point email to contact point email and get the details from the source.